So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, just knowledge of how since you talk about your family, you gave you a sense of duty. Then you become well read, so that's kind of being reinforced duty. Then you get to acknowledge yourself, and that's and it's bringing that out even more. Who did you like, and, 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 and then going back to the mindset of saying, oh, I'm not going to tell my brother. Oh yeah, that, that, yeah. that, 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 that was that, all that, instilled, that, right? And, and we don't have that. Now. We don't have that. No, there was certain things, you know. Just like I was telling people, you didn't climb in nobody's house and steal their TVs and all that just because you knew somebody wasn't home. <laughs> but this, we live in a society nowadays that there's no boundaries. You just didn't cross them boundaries for your own end of the savage in the pursuit of your happiness. Yeah. No, and you better not knock on somebody's door talking about you got a TV. Wait a minute. I know whose TV, know that, who is. TV <laughs> that is. Uh, <laughs> certain things that I was just so uh, profoundly normal for us to be. So it was easy. So when, when Amar Self came with the knowledge of self, all we had to do was find a way to custom make it for us. That's, that's, that was our names. That's when we chose our names. Because that's the custom part of this. That's right. Because your name is, is, is how you identify doing this job. Mm -hmm. How you identify doing this job. So when we chose names and Amar took us up to New York, it was, it wasn't over because we were still 17, 18. So we still had to do crazy shit. And still, this, this is like just getting, just getting right. the now, really. Just getting now. And old man Justice gave his plans. Didn't oh, right. I didn't tell that story. <laughs> I got okay. cut off. No. Okay, so they gave, and you didn't have knowledge on 20 yet. Yeah, but they knew. Mm -hmm. On the strip of Avon. He asked Justice, he said, he said, Justice, I need three flags. Justice reached in his pocket, gave him three flags. He gave each one of us a flag. And then we ran it to my man. I was all alive. Yeah. He just returned, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. He I just know. returned. I know. I, know. I was alive. Mm -hmm. And he looked at us. You know what that flag means? You know what that flag means? But he means? was the one examining. Yeah, guys, mm -hmm. right off the start. Because yeah. we, we, we put the flags on mm -hmm. and we turned the corner. Because when back then, guys, in 1971, every corner you turned, there was a problem center. That's right. And he turned the corner. He was like, he looked because they loved Amar. Mm -hmm. Love everybody, love them. And they seen us. Y'all better know what that means. We gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna find out if we don't know what we don't know. We gonna find out. And um, no, and then we walked. Me, Amar, Kaheem, Jamal, we walked on my blocks. Hmm. Oh, oh, and Amar pointed out everybody. That's him, that's him, that's him. He ain't shit, he could be doing something better. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is his history, this is his this history. history. <laughs> this is a good brother, this is so-and-so. Mm. Stay away from him. <laughs> told us everything, did not pull no punches on nothing. Told it like he got it. Mm. So now, our job, when we came back home, now you're talking August of 1971, all we gotta do is start teaching it like we got it. However, mm. we wasn't, we were still teenagers. So we had some teenaging to do. Mm. <laughs> so, for lack of a better way of putting it. Yeah. And for a couple of weeks, we acted foolish and chased girls and gambled and do dice and all kind of stuff like that. And then one particular night, right down Russia Street, in August, maybe like third week in August, I didn't feel like gambling that day. And I began to teach. It just it came out like vomit. Yeah. And it just flowed. And the babies crowded around me. I'm like, oh shit. Jamel was on the step losing his shirt. I don't know where Kaheem was. Jamel was losing his shirt that night too. He was down there shooting dice. Couldn't get the numbers. And see, and see I was always the harbor. Oh. Kaheem wasn't going to gamble. <laughs> Kaheem gambled like, um, because there was everybody else was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, but, no. but if you wanted some extra money, then get me in the game. <laughs> <laughs> get his money. Come on, Kai. <laughs> anyway, in that particular night, I began to teach. And then Kai I'm like, oh shit, my meditation. He looked like I had a cipher right there on Western Street. Mm -hmm. 
I'm like, oh shit. And uh, the next day, torched him. Came back down, because we were still coming back. We was commuting mm -hmm. out to Fountain Village, back down to South Philly. See, but our base was South Philly. First is where we were. You see, we was going, at that night, we would go home to Fountain Village, mm -hmm. and then come back and hang out downtown. And the next day, torched him. Kaheem knew this was Xerox machines. Kaheem knew somebody had a Xerox machine. He must have Xeroxed a million lessons. Mm. And, and the next day, everybody had lessons in their laps. Mm. We did the whole South Philly. The this whole. Is, this is seven, still 71. 71. Still, 71. 71. still, still summer. summer. Still summer. Still summer. Still summer. Still summer. Still summer. Still summer. I, mean, I like this synth mega. Do it again. See the entire complete film that these segmented clips come from. Join Seven On Demand. Add on with me as we take our media to the next level.